Hi everyone, it's Sajid here again with Books on My Social Life. Today I'm going to be doing my Booktubeathon reading wrap. Booktubeathon was the first reading challenge slash readathon challenge event thingy that I've ever took part in. And this experience has been very interesting, very fun, very awesome. So during the readathon, I did not really succeed in my goals. I managed to start and complete two books. I also completed one book that I was reading before the readathon. I also started two other books and I read from two other books. So the first book that I read I actually started and finished for the booktubeathon and that is Escape from Mr. Lemoncello's Library by Chris Rabinstein. This completed the challenge to read the book that you last acquired and this was the most recent book in my ownership at the time. It's a story about these kids who get locked in a library and they have to use their kind of detective skills to find their way out. It was really interesting and really fun. And if you'd like to know more of my thoughts on it, I will link you down below to a full book review that I did. So the next book that I completed was Bad Feminist by Roxane Gay. I actually started this book before the Booktubeathon. But I kind of used the Booktubeathon as an excuse to finish it, and I'm very happy that I did that because I really enjoyed this book. It's basically a non-fiction collection of essays about feminism and gender and race in pop culture, mass media, and politics. It was a very interesting read, and I hopefully plan to do a full book review of this as well. The next book that I read is a book that I got like eight years ago when I was a child, and that is The Greatest Stories from the Quran by... Sani Yas Nain Khan. But I got this a really long time ago from my aunt when I didn't really used to care to read and I just used to play with it, which is why it's in such a terrible condition. But I decided to use it to complete the challenge of reading a book without letting go of it. And I did complete that challenge and it was a really nice book. It was basically a bunch of stories from the Quran. What I liked most about this book was the art. I thought the art was just absolutely beautiful and stunning. And as I said in another Booktubeathon update video, I just love a book with good art and I just love to see good drawings and illustrations. And this book was up there for me. I also read a couple chapters of To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. I started this book before the Booktubeathon. But I also wanted to try and finish it during the Booktubeathon. Sadly, I didn't, but I still got to finish a few chapters within it. I'm not really enjoying this book. I think that the plot is a bit slow, although I do like the writing and I do like the characters. This book completed the challenge to read a book with the author's last name beginning with the same letter of your last name. So my last name begins with H. And Jenny Han's last name begins with H. So I guess that knocked off that challenge, even though I didn't complete this book. I also started and got halfway through A Long Walk to Water by Linda Supak. I'm enjoying this book so far, but I really don't want to rush through it, even though it's very short. So I decided to not go with this for the Booktubeathon anymore. It was initially supposed to be the book that I used for the Read a Book Without Letting Go of It challenge, but I ended up just, just stopping it because I, I needed to take in this book. And I also got about 50 pages or so into Where Would You Go, Bernadette by Maria Semple. This knocked off the read a book with blue on the cover challenge and read a book that you really want to read challenge. I am absolutely loving this book so far. It is so funny. It's hilarious. The story seems like it's going to be amazing. A lot of people talk about how the story is mysterious and funny and kind of cool and detective-ish. Unfortunately, I haven't reached far enough for the mystery to start, but I can see where it's going and I'm really excited to finish this book and I do plan on doing a full book review. And the last thing I want to talk about is Grimm's Fairy Tales by Jacob and Willem Grimm or Jacob and Willem Grimm, I'm not sure. But everybody knows the Grimm's Fairy Tales, it's the classic collection of classic fairy tale stories. I read about four stories from this during the Booktubeathon and they completed no specific challenge in particular. But I did enjoy the stories that I read. I think I read Rapunzel, The Sleeping Beauty, Rumpelstiltskin, and Cinderella. Yeah, so this is gonna be it for my Booktubeathon wrap-up. It was awesome, it was fun. And I can't wait to finish the books that I started. And I can't wait to share with you my opinions of them. 
So definitely let me know down in the comments how your booktubeathon went. And thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon.